have no idea like at all i don't know if i want to stay here i don't know if i want to go back home sometimes i feel like basing your career off of youtube is really dangerous just for like your mental health Merry Merry Little Christmas. Good morning everyone. Today is Vlogmas Day 5. I woke up at about 8.45 and I threw on this face mask. My skin's breaking out a lot, so hello. This is how I am going to be entering this video. This morning, it is 9 o'clock. This is my favorite time of the day whenever I don't have anywhere to be in the morning. And from like 9 to 10.30, I can just sit and work on what I need to here on the couch. Light a candle. I think I always grew up with seeing my dad in the morning like sit in this specific chair every morning and he would just read his Bible. And it's just something simple about doing something that's a ritual that I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really nice. And so that's what I'm doing this morning. And then I also have a paper due tomorrow and I never leave things. I haven't even started. I haven't even picked a topic. Drive home the point that I am not the person who procrastinates ever. Like I just i don't do that usually but this paper is not a huge deal it's kind of just like a project grade and it's kind of just supposed to give us an extra grade i'm pretty sure for the class i'm not too worried about it but i'm probably gonna leave and go somewhere to write that just so i can focus and then my boyfriend aiden's mom is actually in town so i'm pretty sure we're gonna eat dinner with her i've been playing worship music and i've been reading one of my favorite devotionals which i haven't read and i'm really excited because i actually ordered one of these to give away to one for you guys and so those will start once I'm back home the 11th in Texas. New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. Not that I'm speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. Really good daily reminder and I just wanted you guys to know that. And I hope you guys have a really great day. is vlogmas day five no what is it today's vlogmas day six basically stayed at poet's house which is the place i was studying at for about like six hours got dinner with my boyfriend aiden's mom and before that i was just talking a lot about career stuff and future stuff and so i just wasn't really in the mood to vlog it and so i'm sorry about that yeah i get a lot of questions about what i want to do after school where I want to go and I feel like I've kind of made up answers for a lot of these questions but I'm just gonna be completely honest I have no idea at all I don't know if I want to stay here I don't know if I want to go back home and so yeah I'm just gonna let it be that I feel like I used to tell people that and like feel really bad and feel really insecure and be like mm. but with graduating a year early it just I feel really young to be in the workforce, but at the same time, I need a job. I can't support myself doing YouTube. It's a matter of do I want to do that? Do I think it's the best for me? Sometimes I feel like basing your career off of YouTube is really dangerous just for like your mental health. You have to stay relevant. You have to create videos people want and your job is literally making sure people like you in a way so i just like know for me personally in the long term i'm like is that the best for me i always feel like i'll be doing youtube it's a matter of do i want to do this full time or have something else and so those were the conversations i was having with aiden yesterday i really value his opinion kind of going through a 20 year old crisis i also feel like i look like i haven't seen the sun in like weeks and that's because in new york city you really don't just spent the morning cleaning the apartment feel free to let me know down below if you're having a crisis i have one class today but i'm going early to meet my friend isabel and then i have training for the volunteering thing that i have recently started to do love you guys so i just got ready for class and i feel so weird because i did full-on makeup and i haven't done like full-on eyeliner mascara in such a long time i kind of feel weird you know whenever you put makeup on for like the first time you just feel weird i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing for today it's literally my last day of class for my fall semester of senior year i was also watching all of my old vlogmases from last year and i'm just so nostalgic just to see how much i've grown in a year it's crazy my earrings are from francesca's my top is from zara i actually thrifted this and it's just like a sweater short sleeve top my pants are from american apparel when they were alive and running they're orange i just think they're cute shoes are from public desire i think that these are just very cute different kind of shoes and so yeah i am all ready <laughs> So I just got home from my class. She actually let us out early, which was so nice, but 
My friend Isabel got me a few things. I want to show you guys what she got me because it's like so cute. She knows me super well. I got her Joanna Gaines cookbook because she's been talking about wanting to learn how to cook more. And so blanket scarf because she knows I love these. And in New York, guys, these aren't even just like cute and trendy. You literally need them to like wrap your face because it's so cold here. So happy she got me that. And then she made me this, which is so sweet it's literally like a little texas emblem and she seriously did all of the nails and like all of the wire herself and then she did a heart around like where i'm from which is so cute and so i think i'm gonna put this up on my shelf i thought that was so sweet so i'm gonna show you guys i also got part of aiden's gift i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what i got him because he already knows most of it and last year i like filmed myself exchanging our gifts and it was really fun and so i want to do it again this year but this was a gift that i kind of went on a limb on it's from j crew and i always like how those sweaters that have like the shawl neck look on guys and i kind of hinted to him that this is what i got him and he didn't sound like this was really his style and so this might be something that is getting returned i feel like we're at that point in our relationship where we can do stuff like that taking him to the one world trade center restaurant for christmas which that's just something he's always wanted to do he loves going to all the different restaurants in new york and so that's gonna be so fun i've never even gone in the museum i'm gonna see what this looks like and then if he doesn't like it he can return it but i'm gonna wrap it to okay my brother Derek has one of these and I like it. I wonder if I can wear it if he doesn't like it. Maybe that's like a warning sign that it's not cute. See, like it looks like this. It's like a sweater. It's like a cardigan sweater and it has buttons on it. I just thought it was cute and I thought this color was cute. Do we like? I think it's cute. Let me know. I'm about to cook lunch slash dinner for myself and then I have my training later tonight. I need to unload the dishwasher. I need to answer an email and just do like some productive work. <laughs> For my lunch, I just mixed up some greens and some rice and also a chili lime chicken burger. I'm gonna eat this while watching Gossip Girl. So I'm about to leave to go to my volunteer training. I'm honestly really, really tired right now and it's dark outside. Asian society, that's a difficult question. I just got back, it was really good. I'm just training right now so I haven't actually started, but I will say just after doing YouTube and this being largely about me. The reason why I started doing this was because I just wanted something that was beyond myself. So I definitely recommend to you guys if you're in a rut, if you feel like all of the things that you're doing are oriented around you. Yeah, I just definitely recommend getting plugged in somewhere that you care about. I might see Aiden tonight, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer my question. Someone asked what my Myers-Briggs personality type is, and I took this freshman year, so it's probably changed a little bit. But I believe I was an INTJ. I'm definitely more introverted, but I also took the Enneagram test recently, and I was a type one. And I don't remember my wings, but I think the Enneagram test is cool because it's not just like, oh, you're this type and you can justify everything you do because of it. Kind of like when people are like, oh, I'm really rude, but it's because I'm a Leo. I think it's definitely a better test. So I'll have a link down below if you guys want to check them out. I think that they're good to understand yourself. 